Shalom. Um, my name is Shania, and today I'm going to actually um, share my testimony of how um, I got into the truth. Um, so basically, um, in 2008, um, well, even before that, um, about the end of 2006, um, you know, I was just at a point in my life where I was ready for a positive change. Um, you know, before uh, that time, I had um, uh, lived my life. You know, um, you know, as as a stripper, um, and uh, you know, just a teenager, just um, being out in the streets a lot. Um, you know, not knowing who I am, I was very lost out there, um, you know, but even before that, you know, I always kind of um, felt different, um, and people would say that to me throughout my life, uh, that there was just something different about me, and, um, you know, I did start off in the Christian belief, um, you know, uh, as a child, just for a short time though. Um, my mom, you know, took me and my sister to church, um, you know, sometimes, not necessarily every Sunday, but, you know, sometimes, and, you know, I guess it just got to the point where, you know, um, for whatever reason, um, I know she had to work and stuff like that on Sundays, um, we stopped going. So, um, I really just, uh, didn't have too much experience with, um, being in a church. Um, I didn't, you know, grow up reading the Bible at all. Um, was it something that I was taught that was necessary to do? Um, you know, I was just taught to believe in Jesus and um, you will get the kingdom, uh, which is a, a complete lie. I found out, you know, um, you know I had low self-esteem, um, you know, um, high school. I, I really didn't like school at all because I felt just really different, uh, very quiet. Say to myself, um, I started to have a lot of questions in my head as to um, why, you know, why are so many just, you know, bad things, you know, happening with our people, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff that I was seeing, you know, um, you know, the curses basically that, you know, the Most High God, you know, placed on us for our disobedience. So, you know, I just had a lot of questions in my head, you know, I was uh, frustrated that I had to go and learn about, you know, um, the Gentile history, you know, um, and I didn't know who I was, you know, all, all we um, got to learn was a little bit about slavery that they wanted to tell us, and then um, that was it, you know, I was kind of like, who were we before, you know, uh, the Atlantic slave trade, I mean, come on, so, um, you know, school just didn't go well for me at all, and then, you know, um, I didn't have my father in my life, I didn't know who my dad was, actually, for most of my life, you know. But, um, so I kind of just went downhill from there, you know, um, you know, things that were happening at home and, you know, I just had low self-esteem and wanted attention. So that's, you know, pretty much, um, you know, I picked up being promiscuous, you know, out there and, you know, that's, that's how I got, um, involved in, in um, that type of lifestyle of making fast money and, you know, eventually in the club. So just a little bit of background, um, only to show that, you know, <laughs> I wasn't anybody special in the world I didn't read the Bible at all and um, you know I guess I got to the point not really I guess but I, I got to the point where I was tired of living a, a lie I was just I was just tired of being something that I really wasn't deep down inside I wanted to you know be, be the good girl that I really was you know but it was like I wasn't accepted in this world and so when I got to that point where I was tired you know, of living, living that life, um, you know, I decided to quit, <clears throat> you know, working where I was working, and I, um, you know, basically just went from there. In 2006, I um, didn't know what I was going to do in my life. I, I worked a regular job. I did attempt to go to school, but it was still emptiness. I didn't know who I was. That's why I kept saying, I don't know who I am. <laughs> So, um, in 2007, um, is when I, I, uh, started researching, um, it was just put on my heart to start going to the library, um, you know, I was told, <clears throat> excuse me, I was told by 
uh, you know, Gentiles, you know, so-called, you know, white white people that um, it wasn't a good thing to research on the internet. But, you know, I just seen all of them going on the internet, finding information that seemed like, and so I decided to do the same thing, you know, because I was just going to go and just start reading a whole bunch of books at the library because I wanted to know who I was. So, um, basically, um, I started going to the internet. I, you know, found out little things about the William Lynch letter and, uh, you know, different stuff in slavery. Um, I did come across something about, you know, uh, the so-called, you know, black Jew. But, uh, you know, I really didn't know where I was going with my research, you know. And then um, I did pick up the Bible. I decided to start studying um, the scriptures for myself because when I first was changing my life around like I was trying to listen to like preachers on television but uh you know I was noticing some things that weren't right you know like they kept saying we're gonna go up to heaven and like eat uh I don't know apple pie or whatever <laughs> but like I really heard that you know stuff like that and I read in the scriptures that the kingdom was coming down so to me that was confusion and I believe that the scriptures were real even though I didn't study uh, most of my life, I really didn't. Um, I always had in my heart that the scriptures were real and that the Messiah was a black-skinned man. That was just instilled in me from my grandma and my mom, you know. Um, so then um, from there, I pretty much um, I had to move because, um, you know, before that time, you know, I did end up homeless. But I gave up all the life that I was living, the fast life and all that. You know, I went ahead and, and was homeless for a little bit, you know, not for too long. But um, because I was a tired of life, I didn't care what happened. I was ready to serve the Most High. I didn't know Him by name at the time, but I was just like so, so ready. And um, so basically, um, I had to move into a new apartment because I was praying in the name of Jesus. A lot of the horrible things were happening at that time. Like my prayers weren't being heard. It, you know, it wasn't good. So, you know, I got moved to a new place. And at that place, I heard a voice tell me to just. Um, I didn't have a TV at the time. You know, I was able to get one, but uh, I kind of rushed into moving into the place. I just heard, don't get a TV. And I realized it was because, um, you know, I needed to read the scriptures for myself. Um, so, I, you know, I was working at the time, and um, I took the time to just start reading the scriptures little bit by little bit. I really didn't have, you know, understanding. But the TV was a distraction because I would watch the uh, Christian, you know, preachers preach and give their... Uh, opinion, you know, about the Bible. So I was hearing that I need to study and read it for my, myself completely. And so from there, um, you know, I, I pretty much just started going to the library when I was finding, you know, little stuff here and there. And eventually, um, I guess in my research, I was still kind of frustrated and lost because, um, you know, I just wasn't sure about who I am, even though it was little clues about, uh, he, you know, Hebrew, like, you know, I was thinking, okay, you know, I looked at the Bible, it's like Abraham uh, was called a Hebrew, he wasn't called a Jew, you know, but I still couldn't make the connection, you know, that Hebrew is like with us as a people. I, I just didn't make that connection necessarily. I just thought, you know, okay, some of them were black skinned people or some of them were Hebrew in the Bible, you know, I didn't know. So one day, um, I was taking the city bus um, here in uh, Minneapolis, um, Minnesota, and when I was on the bus, I was going past, I seen somebody passing out some information, um, and he was passing out to a lot of people, so I was looking like, oh, I wonder what that is, because at this time, I was in research mode, you know, so I was, like, interested, but I couldn't get off the bus, so I was like, well, whatever, next time, you know, and in my mind, I had that day, I I was just really down that day and I, I was thinking, man, I, I'm trying to go to uh, school or I'm trying to be in this work skills program. I was in a work skills program for more training and to get a better job. And I'm trying to live my life right, you know, I have my place. And I'm like, is that it? it? Do I just, what do I do now? I just, you know, get married and uh, just get, get money on my life? <laughs> it, it, I don't know. I didn't know, you know, I just like, I don't know who I am. That's what I said that exactly that day. And basically, um, when I, I heard a voice that told me to get off of the back of the bus, you know, I didn't necessarily do that. I was kind of in the middle towards the back at that time. Um, so I got off and I seen a flyer left on the seat. So I picked up the flyer and the flyer said, um, 
you know, that us the so called black people, um, you know, African American, you know, Jamaican, wherever, um, we are the true Hebrew Israelite. I was real excited. So what I did that day as I went home and went to my Bible real quick <laughs> Because I had, um, at the time I had the NIV Bible, uh, which, you know, some don't necessarily like that translation, but Yah, you know, definitely gave me understanding when I read that, because that's how I came to choose with those particular scriptures. So, I was reading, you know, it, it had titles, it had, you know, Israel repent, Israel come back to God, you know, Israel, uh, you know, turn into idols, you know, so it had different titles for different scriptures, you know. So, I kind of just followed that and went in there, and I started crying, because I was like, this is us this is us like I was so happy and it was like confirmation because like I said my research I had clues but I still couldn't put the pieces together so um I was crying that day I was really happy to finally find who I was um it was such a blessing it was such a wonderful day <laughs> but um yeah, I remember just going back to the, the work skills program I was in and I couldn't stop smiling. Like, I was so happy to actually find who I was, you know, that I wasn't uh, forgotten, that our people are not forgotten, that I do have a heritage. So, it just meant so much to me, you know, but that was the beginning of it. Um, and so from there, I, I continued to research. I was like faithful going to the library research and research and about being Hebrew is like going back to my Bible, reading scriptures. Um, the fly that I got, oh, I just want to mention that it didn't come from, you know, Israelite heritage. Um, it came from, you know, a different um, camp, but it was a stepping stone. Um, I never joined that camp. Um, they just want to completely, I want to accord with uh, what I had studied and, and what I believed in, in Yah's words. So, but that was just a stepping stone. That was the way that yeah, the most high God like gave me confirmation that I am Hebrew, I am a Hebrew Israelite. So that's basically all that was for. And so, um, you know, I went ahead and researched. Eventually I came across the true names of salvation. Um, you know, uh Yahoshua, Yah Yahoshua. Um I found out with a little J and that shocked me. I was really shocked and I was thinking, Oh my goodness then what is the Messiah's name? Because I wasn't okay with calling him something that I wasn't even calling him the right name that like really uh, shocked me. You know, it just, my mind was like, oh my goodness, you know, and I wasn't planning about my salvation, you know, I was ready to change my life and I'm like, I'm calling him something that's not even, you know, real, it's not even of the most high, you know. Um, so I went ahead and researched, you know, and I came across the Hoshua eventually. It took like little steps in my research, but I got there with prayer and God's guidance. And then um, I found out about Yah's name. You know, when I first came to research about Yah's name, um, you know, I didn't have complete understanding yet. So I came across, you know, Yahweh, which is not his name. Um, you know, so uh, when I came across somebody that was trying to witness to me and they were Israelite and they said a different name and I said you know what this don't make any sense <laughs> I know my Israelite he does and we're saying two different names so let me go back and continue to pray for understanding research and so one day in my prayer um, I went to God and um, I asked him about his name you know and he told me it's just Yah and he gave me examples hallelujah you know kumbaya um, how we are praise you God, kumbaya, kumbaya, you know, the prophet had God's name, he gave me the understanding, so I was so happy about that, and all this research, research and stuff just happened in a matter of months, and so, um, it was like, by the end of 2007, uh, beginning of 2008, I um, went to my mom's house to Google, um, Hebrew is what's on a computer, because um, by the time I got the understanding of the truth, um, you know, I didn't have nobody to fellowship with. I didn't know nobody else that had this truth. I wasn't sure who all had this truth <laughs> at the time, you know. I was just really excited. So, uh, one day Googling, I typed Hebrew Israelites and the Israelite Heritage website popped up. And so, I was really, 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 really happy. I mean, when I read the website, I was like, oh my goodness, they're on one accord. But, you know, yeah, has been showing me and I'm just so happy to finally find people that, you know, are one accord because um, I wasn't running into that. So, um, basically, 
you know, ever since then I just, you know, study off that site and, um, you know, it's just been a blessing and listen to the lessons. And so what I did, I would go to the library, listen to the lessons and every single day, you know, um, I ended up not having a job at this time. So it was like, yeah, gave me that time to really seek him because I needed that in my life. And so um, I would go to the library, listen to uh, lessons, you know, word of the week, Shabbat lessons, whatever. I didn't know anything about the life. How time plus I didn't have a computer or internet at the time. But um, now I would go home and, and go over the notes again for myself, you know, to confirm everything. So um, that's been a, truly a blessing, even still to this day. And then, um, so once, you know, Yah gave me understanding about his name and that, you know, our people were Hebrew Israelites, um, you know, he went ahead and told me, okay, go ahead and tell, start off telling your family, your relatives. So I did that, you know, the best that I could. Um, you know, my mom and my brother, um, they did accept the names of salvation and accept that they're Israelites. So that was a blessing. Um, but I was prepared for anything. So I was like, I'm, I'm for God, okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, you need to the truth, you know. So that was that was a blessing. Um, but uh, and I, I told my sister two at the time, and uh, about two years later, uh, after you know I came in 2008, um, you know I did I got immersed four months after I got in the truth, and um, so that was that was a blessing. Um, and I met uh, Brother Obadiah, and that was a blessing. I was really happy when I got the email that he was coming up here. And then he said there was a few other people up here. So I, I, I mean, I was at the work skills program and I got that, <laughs> got that interview. And um, I feel like jumping up and down. You know, I had like, we had mock interviews that day in class. And I couldn't even, I was so happy. I didn't care about nothing, nothing else, you know. But um, I was able to get immersed when he, he came. But I did get immersed. Um, it was like a month after he came up to Minnesota. So. You know, I, I was I was really happy, and then I got my tassels, put up with my tassels, so that was all good. But anyways, um, so my sister came in, uh, my sister Tyria came in, um, uh, yeah, almost two two years later, in um, the end of 2010, and um, I, I wasn't I wasn't expecting it, you know. Uh, yeah, it's so good. Um, wow, it, it's a blessing um, that you know she's in the truth. Um, with me, we fellowship together. You know, I wasn't expecting it, so that that was <laughs> that was that was wonderful. And um, so yeah, that's um, you know pretty much it. Um, you know, that's my testimony of me, um, you know, finding out the truth. And I, you know, I just pray that this, this be a blessing to anybody that may need to hear it uh, for encouragement or those you know seeking truth. You know, um, and like I said, I, I didn't have a background reading the Bible um, or anything, you know, I didn't go to church and I wasn't attracted to the whole church thing. <laughs> but, um, you know, with Yah, there is deliverance uh, through Yehoshua Messiah, definitely. And um, because I've seen, I've seen a lot of women that were in the lifestyle that I was in, um, but, you know, and it's like they would change their life or try to. But they were calling on the wrong hands of salvation and eventually backslided back into it, you know. And um, I'm just so thankful that, you know, Yah uh, did choose me and did deliver me, um, you know, completely away from that. Because um, there's no other way. There's no, I don't know what would, could have happened if I didn't find Yah, you know. So, um, you know, I, I just say, you know, hallelujah. And, um... That's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, bless and shalom.